Morning, everyone. Good morning. We'll call the meeting to order. We've got a quorum. I'm taking a motion to approve the agenda and the minutes. Move to approve the agenda and the minutes. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion will carry. Uh, Rich is out sick today, right? I guess. Yep. Um, so we'll go right to drainage. Um, drainage claims. I'll take a motion. Is there any questions on them? I don't know. None. Okay, hearing none, I'll uh, take a motion to approve the drainage claims. Make a motion to approve the drainage claims. I'll second. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 That motion will carry. Okay. Claims. Um, is there any questions on the claims? I don't know. I don't need it. Hearing none, I'll, I'll take a motion to approve the claims. Motion to approve claims. Is it second? I'll second it. Okay. We've been seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Both same sign, motion carries. Okay, <clears throat> reports. Is there any reports today, Jackie? No. Nope. No reports. Okay, any payroll? Nope. Liquor license? Nope. Okay, there's a manure management plan update for Jim Neal, I think it was. Yep. Is there any questions or concerns on that, guys? No, I'll motion to acknowledge the uh, manure management plan update. This is a two. Yeah. They're both yeah. Yeah. I'll second that. Okay. Moving second. If there's no further discussion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Both same sign. Motion carries. Okay. The next yep. one I forgot to take out. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna drop that one, Jackie? Yeah, we did it last week. Oh, I was thinking we did. Yeah, I was just testing you. But no, well, I and maybe it was for 24 when I was looking at it. Who knows? You know, we got to go ahead of time. So. Yeah. All right. Um, National Child Abuse Awareness Prevention Month proclamation. Eunice, I think that's you, isn't it? Kind of. Yes. Is there? Um, Something to read or anything here because I don't have it. Oh, I can read it. Okay. Is that okay if I read yeah, it? Yeah. April is recognized as Child Abuse Prevention Month. The National Child Abuse Awareness Day is Friday, April 1st, 2022. Whereas we recognize keeping children safe is everyone's business, whereas the children of the communities of Worth County are the future and where is the safety and well-being of children should be everyone's priority responsibility and duty and where is the communities are encouraged to promote programs and activities that enable children to thrive and grow in healthy environments and where is child abuse can have short-term and long-term effects and lasting effects on children adolescents developing leading uh i guess it's we need a acknowledgement of this as declaring April as the Child Abuse Prevention Month for Worth County. I'll make a motion to uh, approve the proclamation for Child Abuse Awareness Month. I'll second it. So it's been moved and seconded. <clears throat> Is there anything else to say about that? Good deal, I think. So I will take a motion. Or All those in favor say aye. 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 All same sign. So we'll make a proclamation to Child Abuse Awareness Month. Okay. The Worth County Honey Bee Day Proclamation. Um, if somebody want to read that, I don't have it in front of me either. So I got that one. Okay. Thanks. Whereas honeybees and native insects are important as pollinators for a third of the food we eat, and honeybees are vital in production of over 90 crops grown across the nation, many of which are in Iowa. Honeybees contribute to the healthy Iowa environment of sharing availability of fruits, vegetables, nuts, and flowers for wildlife in all Iowans. And whereas Iowa's 45,000 or more honeybee hives produce about 4 million pounds of honey, valued at over 8 million, and honeybees provide an estimated 92 million economic value to Iowa crops from their pollination. And whereas Iowa has over 4,500 
beekeepers representing lobbyists, sideliners as part-time businesses and full-time commercial beekeepers. Beekeepers have a few as one to two hives in a single apiary to a hundred apiaries, a thousand of hives of individual commercial operation. And whereas traditional beekeeping occurred in rural areas of Iowa, now beekeeping increasingly are in urban areas with the rising interest of hobby beekeepers that keep honeybees in Iowa cities and towns. And whereas the state of Iowa has an active apiary program that protects honeybees and beekeepers by inspecting for apiary disease and pests, as well as actively encouraging best beekeeping practices by outreach to individuals and beekeeping groups. And whereas honeybees face serious threats from invasive pests and disease, decreasing bee-friendly habitat, variable climate, and pesticide and herbicide pressure. Therefore, Mark Smeeby, chairperson of Worth County Board of Supervisors, do hereby proclaim Wednesday, March 30th, 2022 as Worth County Honeybee Day, Day and encourage all citizens, residents, and visitors to join in the reserve, observing this day and focusing on the importance of honeybees to our state economy, to enjoy the honey and other products of the hive, to recognize the honeybee's role in maintaining our Iowa environment, and to assist in reducing the threats to honeybee survival in our state. I'll motion to approve the uh, honeybee proclamation. I'll second it. <laughs> it's been moved and seconded. <laughs> Is there any further discussion? All right, hearing none, I'll take uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion will carry. Thank you guys for doing that. All right, so now health insurance, FY23 rates. So where are we at? Yep. I sent you that spreadsheet. Yep. Are we still okay with that? Or what do you guys want to do? Yeah, we, I think we have to be to keep our building our reserves, our reserves up to get the self-funding portion built up. Yeah. I'm hoping in another year or two we can start playing with it, but I don't mm -hmm. think we should do it yet. No, we need to get to a good point. Not, we're not there yet. Maybe, nope. Yeah, we'll go another year or two to... Then we can start, hopefully start reducing. How much did we end up in reserve last year? Two hundred. Right around remember that figure? Thousand. That's what I was thinking. And we need to go to like two fifty. I. That's where I'd feel more comfortable. Right. Yeah, I guess I'd keep. As until we know, you know, there's always that. We don't know what that middle number yeah. is going to be, and how much is going to have to be taken out of that account. <clears throat> It does add to the bottom line of the budget, but I do agree with the fact that we need to get a surplus built up. Yeah. So okay. we kind of knew that when we jumped into it, we we're going to have to let it build for a couple of years and then we can. We should be able to lower it a little bit next year and go more with the whatever, you know, health insurance may go up again. Right. Mm -hmm. A lot more than the 15 and a half that it went up this year. Yeah. Hopefully we can maybe absorb whatever the increase would be yeah. with mm -hmm. those that funds. Be, so. That would be a nice start. Mm -hmm. So um, go with the 950 as budgeted. Yep. Yep. Do you, do you want that as a motion, Jackie? Yes, please. Okay. Right, guys, want to make that a motion? A motion to uh, approve the 950 for the fiscal year 23 health insurance rates. Is there a second? I'll second that. Okay. It's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion on that? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Both same sign, so that motion will carry. Um, it was also on there, Jackie said about the uh, five percent. Was it five percent or you know the wellness incentives? Are we discussing those right now? Um, oh, that's right. We're just gonna. Um, and you want me to put that as part of the motion so that it's recorded and everybody knows that that's what's going to happen next year. And we'll need to express it to people. I think we ought to separate the two of them. Yeah, okay. Let's just put that on for next week. Okay. And yeah. just have that discussion. Keep that yeah. Uh, okay. Do so you want to discuss this more next week, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. So that was it on health insurance, I think, if I remember. Yep. Yep. So the resolution to. 2022-03-2801 adoption of salary recommendation for elected officials. Um, 
So we got any discussion on that? Basically, the budget was presented or will be presented mm -hmm. as this is all listed with everybody with the increases that were um, recommended by the compensation board. Correct. So it's up to you guys if you want to accept it. Do we want to do that before we do the budget hearing? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because that's figured in that way and it was presented that way. Or, um, Have it, it will be posted that way. Yeah. It will be posted and presented that way. So, well, I think we kind of talked about this and I guess we're just going to probably stay that way this year with the recommendations. So, all motion to uh, adopt resolution 2203 2801. We have the salary recommendations for elected officials. Is there a second for that motion? I'll second that motion. All right, it's been moved and second. Is there any further discussion? Okay. Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Say aye. Uh, it's a resolution. Let's do a roll call. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Roll call vote then. Uh, Loberg. Aye. Stone. Aye. Maybe. Aye. All right. Thank you. Thanks for the catch there. All right. So that motion was passed. All right. Well, we can't start the budget hearing. And that's at 8.50, right? Budget uh, amendment. Resolution, yeah. I, yeah, the budget amendment first. We need to wait on that yet, don't we, Jackie? It says 8 yeah. okay. Uh, we your appointment. Yeah, do we have an appointment there? Yep. Oh, I got Larry's application. Okay, so I'll take a motion to appoint, is it to the County Eminent Domain Compensation Board? Yep. Okay, is there a motion for that? I'll make that a motion. All second. Okay. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All right, hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, motion carries. Okay. Um, is Melissa on today? I guess we can jump to her. Hey. Good morning. <clears throat> Um, uh, Jackie, I just got your email. I'll follow up with those um, employers. Do you have a deadline for that? Um, I'm guessing end of this week, maybe beginning of next week. Okay. If possible. Sure. And then I've just been keeping in contact with Ready Fuels and uh, working with uh, Winnebago County on a couple of items. Okay. Nothing, nothing much for this week. Okay. You guys got any more for Melissa? Nope. Great. All right. Thanks, Melissa. You bet. All right. Is Chris there today? Yeah, I'm here. Yep. Chris, what do you got for us today? Uh, I think you guys made a report. I just wanted to get any questions. <coughs> I didn't see that. I, I didn't see the report. Oh. Uh, nothing new, nothing bad. No, I haven't got no phone calls. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, we decided to put that from making a line break on me and shot my eye. I got moved my sunglasses and my glasses down and got my eye. And so three weeks ago today, I spent all day in the ER, but that picked back up. We're going again. Okay. I'm good. So good. Okay. Uh, I didn't put that in the report, but it happened. Yeah. yeah. Well, so it's going to sign out there then? Yeah, no, it didn't. Good deal. Okay. All, All right. All right here. Early April, probably. Flush hydrants. Flush hydrant. Well, usually I do that July, August ish. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. All right. Um, little 24 wastewater timeline for RFP for services at I 35. 105 exchange where we have got a set of data on that or have we or um no but we can i've been talking with jason and we're obviously going to utilize the rfp from 2017 yep uh just update the dates basically and then we got to add in the uh permanganate as a chemical as well because that's now part of the expenses so yep um 
but otherwise he thought a month would be sufficient. So let's, where are we, March 28th? We can have him get that out next week. Um, then we could probably have him present them to us maybe around the 16th of May. Okay. That sounds good. Do we need a, do we need a motion? We don't really need a motion on that, do we? We've already. It's that's maintenance for the the infrastructure out there, so it's a little different. Yeah, ball game. So no, we can just contact Jason. We'll have him tentatively go to the 16th or 23rd, whatever works best for him. I don't know how busy he is. So. Okay. That works for me. All right. Um, I think we'll wait right there. So we'll start the uh, FY22 budget here in a couple minutes. We only got four minutes left, probably, unless there's anything from the heads for a little bit. I got a question on the RFPs. Does Jason have a list of? individuals to fire them to yeah they'll they'll advertise it out basically like they do with uh they've got the contacts in other yeah gotcha. they'll advertise like they would if they were if they were uh, going for bids on a job yep. um they'll advertise it out in that market so it'll be it'll be regionalized to probably the, the midwest but yeah they do have their connections they can advertise it out that way Thanks, Chris. You want to do any department head discussion here? Anybody got anything quick? Sheriff, you got anything? I'll be on Thursday morning. I got my health physical that morning. Otherwise, we're just really shorthanded. We had a um, individual whose dad passed away. Plus, we have three at school, so we'll be running tight on people this week, but we'll be fine. Anybody else? Joel, you got anything? Uh, nothing much for me. Uh, if I'm feeling good enough, I'm going to Monona uh, Tuesday and Wednesday to help them out with some, some uh, technology assessment. Uh, the sheriff and I actually had a uh, a uh, scam fraud presentation in Joyce last week, which went uh, very, very well. Uh, the sheriff did most of the talking, thank goodness. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we continue to see fun times coming from our friends in Russia and China. Um, so I just caution everybody just to keep on alert because uh, I think it's going to get a little bumpier here in the next uh, month or two. Okay. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Anybody else got anything? I see the recorder was good. Um, anything else? Okay, still got a couple minutes. Um, Supervisor Weekly, Enos, what did you have last week? I showed up here to get a cookie from the Farm Bureau. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, AJ, how about you? Uh, I did the same thing and then I ended up, I had uh, Care Connections um, mental health meeting on uh, Tuesday. And uh, we're just trying to work through some some numbers of trying to add some services um, before the state fully takes over the, the paying options. We actually have, it's a weird problem to have, but we actually have a little extra money we need to try to spend. So we're mm -hmm. going to obviously promote services that we need that the city or the state's requiring us uh, to okay. get. So we've been working with other regions trying to collaborate and get them together. So not just one region's got to try to swallow the whole pill. Good, but, good. So it's going um, really good over there. So I think that's it. Okay. I got a question. WHW, how are you coming on that meeting? I see okay. you've been getting emails on it. I'm not around. So sounds like Thursday after or Thursday afternoon is the next option. So three o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Does that work for you guys? It I works, can make it work. It, yeah. works for, it works for me. I won't be doing it. Right. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Northwest Care Connections, you were going, we were going to look into the different jobs that Sandy Morales had and then you're going to check with them on what was available that we could get through there right. possibly and see what we're missing some of the, those services they can't do so it's that's the one we need to look into going with uh, 
Yeah, that would give me the action since we're already a part of that. Mm -hmm. We just need to discuss services with them, I think. So, okay. And if you did that, would you still need Ruth Nolby then? We would not be, be a part yeah. of WHW anymore. We'd go that route. So, yeah. Then we just be right. on one of those boards. Yeah. So it's 8 50. Jack, you want to go ahead? I'm sorry. You want to finish? Go ahead. No, I was just. Wondering if um, if a, the three o'clock work for those two guys, if you want to go ahead or if you want to wait until you're available to. No, they can handle it. I mean, it's otherwise you're going to have to wait until next week. I mean, I will probably be back Friday if weather doesn't get to be an issue, but uh, we're planning to head out here early Thursday morning. I don't know if we'll, I definitely won't be back Thursday afternoon. So um, okay. I, I, if we're going to wait, I would prefer to wait to next week, but that's if they can they can handle it there's two of them that's good if they can both make it so yeah. i'd say run with it thank you all right so it's 8 50 we're gonna uh we got to do a budget amendment hearing so we need to recess the regular meeting correct correct all right so then i will take a motion to open the uh, public hearing for the budget amendment well, I Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll make that a motion. I'll second it. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 So the meeting, the public hearing is now open. So is there any questions on the budget amendment for FY22? It was you basically want? for um, we we're shuffling money for the Highway 105 project. Um, there's ARPA money that we've already gotten bills from BNK, so I kind of needed to make sure that was available. Okay. Um, there's a few more. I, I increased some general services. We've had some additional expenses there, so I've increased those just in case. Um, otherwise, it was just the Highway 105 and the ARP. Right. Okay. So is there any comment from the public? What does general services entail? Um, this building. The building. Okay. Brian. No. Yeah, make them up for the most part. This building, there are facilities. Sure. I, I take it has a lot to do with these repairs. No, um, yeah. kind of. And then um, it looked like um, gas had been up and stuff like that. So we just put some more. Did we get an email on that stuff? On what? On this resolution? Did you did that come out to us? It was in the newspaper. I, I don't but I we can't, didn't I can't okay. remember if I sent it directly gotcha. to you or not. Yeah, it's posted and everything. So yeah. yep. Yep. All right. Any further comments from the public? If not, I will take a motion to close the budget amendment hearing. A motion to close the hearing. Second. I'll I'll second it. it. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Well, same sign. So the hearing is closed. I will reconvene the meeting and I will take a motion to approve the FY22 budget amendments. Budget amendments. Motion to approve the resolution for the FY22 budget amendment. Is there a second? I'll second it. I'll second it. Is there any further discussion? All right. Hearing none, uh, we'll do a roll call vote. Uh, Loberg? Aye. Stone? Aye. Maybe? Aye. The motion will carry. Okay. Still got a few minutes before nine o'clock. So anything for next week we need to think about here? You guys? Just I think the WHW will hear back from uh, Winnebago, or not Winnebago, uh, Hancock. Sounds like probably later today. I, they're going to discuss what they're meeting too. So. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. Um, mm, okay. We got everything covered otherwise. I think. Looks like it. Except for Heidi. Yeah, yep. Heidi, Heidi and Jeff here after our after our budget hearing, so okay. Uh, yeah.
Anything else good back in Iowa right now? The weather. Mm. Is it good? No. <laughs> nice okay. today. A little cool, but. Okay. I see it was a little cool yesterday. It's cool well, here too. Another round of good moisture coming. Yeah. That's what they said. I just saw, was there blizzard warnings out maybe? Oh, what? <laughs> Hope not. Wednesday. Yeah, rain. Okay. Possibly rain and snow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's up to a foot of snow, maybe. Ooh, hope not. Yeah, I hope not too, because I'll be driving back in it then. So, looking forward to that. I don't know. Where are you at, Mark? I am in Loden, Tennessee. Oh, cool. But two hours, two or two and a half hours east of Nashville. Okay. Right, right on the foothills of the Smoky Mountains. So. Beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful here. It's uh, you know, it's a little different world. The flowers are blooming and the trees are budding. And although it was supposed to freeze last night, it didn't. I guess so they're pretty lucky. But well, it's still brown here, so yeah, it's most of the way across uh, Missouri and Kentucky. You know that it was pretty brown yet too. But it's it's starting to green up here. You know they never totally go brown here, which is kind of nice. They do get snow here, but nothing like we do. It lasts a day, day and a half, and it's gone. So. Lots and lots of people here, though. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> Very true. I know I'm not on the agenda, but just a real quick question to you guys. Do you still need to know where those windmills are within the city limits out here at Deer Creek? Yes, yes we will. Okay, yes, so I'll get that. I'll we'll get that to you this week. Because yeah, we any of that would be affected within that two miles yeah. of and of there's north. more than you realize. I thought so. No. Well, we just have to. We just got to make sure we're outside that correct circumference. Which we have to talk for. Yes. Okay. But yeah, if you would please. That yep. Well, I've enough. got it started. I just don't have it finished. But whether I, it be five know. or twenty of them, we just got to get outside that sure. circumference. Sure. Yes. No. Nope. That's fine. Clock never moves when you're staring at it, does it? <laughs> <laughs> I should check. I wonder if I've done my job. One minute at a time. Yes, I'm right on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wasn't the one on the wall the official clock? So if you just go move it ahead, we're good. Or... Right. <laughs> it's actually right on. Yeah. So. Yeah, I set it here about um, three weeks ago. Yeah, you did. Must have good well, batteries. When we went to daylight savings. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been accurate, so the thing works. <laughs> Oh, I thought works. it was losing time all the time. <laughs> so I guess I could recess the meeting and get that started. And we will wait until it's nine o'clock. There you go. All right, 10 o'clock. I will take a motion to open the FY23 budget hearing. I'll motion to open the FY23 budget hearing. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Both aye. same sign. Budget hearing is now open. Um, 
we will be considering the adoption of the 22 resolution 02328 yeah for the FY 23 2223 budget is there any questions is there any comment from the public will the levies um, stay at the same no no oh, we're raising them right no nope. what would they be at the, what was posted? Will they be those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what, yeah what was posted? Yeah, what was posted? Yeah, okay. We're just going off because I know it was, you know, it could come down, but I, right. that's what I was just asked. No, we're going off what was was posted, posted in the paper to everybody. So okay. Yeah. Is there any more questions from the public? I got a quick one. I um sat and watched you guys a few minutes ago approve uh approve compensation for all the employees of the county with no no discussion whatsoever. A couple weeks ago, I sat and watched you three guys uh, discuss that terribly in a different different department's meeting, with, and you didn't discuss this a bit. And now you go to put high levies in, so we'd be paying more taxes, and you're not, that's just one example, this uh, compensation thing. I'm not, I'm not against paying people, but uh, I don't think you guys treated that with the thought that it looks like you should have. With respect to that, Mike, I I understand what you're saying, and that's a, a different board, and that board. I understand. There's more than that. There's more to that than just the three of us. I understand um, that. But... Also, we we picked this one apart pretty bad last year. Okay. And knocked it down last year, um, so that's why we're trying to leave it alone. It it would be nice if we could just do this ourselves and not even, you know what I mean? Wow. Well, it, it would make things easier because then. Then when we get asked these questions, we can explain to you. I guess exactly I just let my frustration go at that last meeting. That was just ridiculous, and and I don't see you doing that now. So, it's but. it's been discussed pretty heavily too. We tossed it around more than we would like to, and like AJ said, that we decided to leave it alone for this year. So okay, but addressing what your comment is. I see where you're coming from. Thank you. Okay. Is there any further comments from the public? I'll ask one more time. Is there further comment from the public? Okay. Hearing none, I will take a motion to close the FY22 budget public hearing. I'll motion to close the hearing. Is there a second? I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion will carry. All right. So I will reconvene the meeting. Um, and I will ask for is there any discussion on this? And if not, I will take a motion to approve the FY 2223 budget. I'll make a motion to approve the 2223 budget resolution. Is there a second? I'll second it. Is there any further discussion? All right. Hearing none, I will do a roll call vote. Loberg? Aye. Stone? Aye. Maybe? Aye. The motion will carry. Okay. So all we have left would be TIF discussion at 9.15 with Jeff and Heidi. Um, are they coming they're on in? There. They're on there ready. if they're ready. Okay. Yeah, let's get it rolling. Yep. Okay. Morning, Heidi. Good morning. All right. How is everyone doing today? Not too bad. Good. Well, today, um, just wanted to update the board um, as we've got some some numbers on the new wind farm that's coming in. Does the board have a copy of the um, the wind tiff um, analysis? Emailed it to him. Okay. If you have a copy of that in front of you, um, what today? What I'm going to go over is the is the um, is the debt that you currently have outstanding, the estimated taxes that'll be coming in, and that cash flow of the, the two original 
or the two ones that are in place and then talking about the cash flow of the new wind towers. Um, and then um, talk about how that can fit in with the board's priorities and projects. Um, and then also um, I'd like to go over just um, some options on if some of the, of the new value from the new wind turbines goes, um, goes back to the other taxing bodies, you know, what those numbers could look like. Um, <clears throat> so starting from left to right, um, you'll see that there's the first two farms um, that have that have your value. The first farm is expected to have the last TIF asking in 2030. And that brings in about 935,000. The second farm brings in about uh, 1, million and seven, 1, 755,000. With, with the new farm and the new valuation coming in on 2022, you're expected to receive your first 5% of the, the property taxes in 2025. And you'll see that that'll increase by that 5% up to 30%. Um, and that is expected to bring in for the full 20 years, um, approximately $23 million. As far as the county's current debt outstanding, for 2023 and going forward, you have 3,477,000 in debt with your last payment in 2026. Uh, the county had cash, you know, cash on hand from the, tif, from the TIF revenues to pay off the 2012A um, this past fiscal year. Um, and it's projected that you could pay off the remaining 2015 debt um, on June 1 of 2023, allowing for uh, full, win, you know, full wind TIF revenues to go towards the board's projects. Um, the first date that you can pay off that 2015 A is that June 1 of 2023. Now, if you look all the way to the, to the right there, you'll see that um, really what you wanna focus in is that percent of TIF available. Um, you know, if you collect 100% of the TIF, you have about 46 million um, to pay back debt. Um, and so you'd look, you know, really starting in 2024, um, you know, assuming that you, you've paid, you can pay off all of the, the 2015, you have the ability to make some pay, make payments on debt for about, you know, uh, after that debt's paid off, you know, two to $3 million, um, of TIF revenue coming in. Um, so you could, um, when looking at some of the projects that you're looking at, um, you could pay off some of your projects fairly quickly. Um, and then I do know that you're looking, you're looking at some other, um, you're looking at some guarantees and other things like that. So you have a lot of cash flow um, coming on because your debt is being paid off so quickly. You've got cash flow to do the projects that you'd like to do. Um, and you know if if there. If the board is ready with some priorities today, I could, you know, put together some scenarios or if you've made some decisions at this point, I can put together some scenarios on how that can fit. Um, but that cash flow is coming in and coming in fairly, fairly quickly for you um, to do some, some of the things that you'd like to do. First thing, it'd probably be replenishing the Highway 105, which is what you guys wanted. Yeah, that's something I forgot to mention to you, Heidi. We did borrow from the 105 Trust Fund to do a paving project here last summer. Yep. And uh, we need to replenish that to get it back in there for future. For future. future. Uh, 
approximately how much would um, would be needed to replenish that fund. I'll have to look. Wasn't the whole, how well, much was the, well, we had 3.7 going out there. Yeah. And 2 million of it was coming out of TIFF, so there must be 1.7 in the 105 project. That so, sounds about right. Could be. I don't remember those numbers exactly for sure, but. I think that sounds right, Enos. I th that's just what I, I think that's right. It's in my head, I don't have. Look um, you know, to capture these dollars, I know that you've started some of the process uh, to capture the dollars, the um, TIF dollars, ha it has to be a debt payment. So um, you have to put your projects that you're looking to do in the urban renewal plan. And after that, put, um, get the finance hearings in place. Um, so in order to issue debt. Um, so that process with putting the urban renewal plan together takes, um, you know, six weeks with the finance hearings that takes another, you know, another six weeks. So, you know, it takes, you know, it takes a good three months in order to get money um, for projects that you, 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 um, you'd want to do. Um, so if you're looking at doing the, you know, the, the 1.7 million replacement. Um, I think I think it would make sense for you to go ahead and get that done this year, so it could be certified for fiscal 2024. Um, as you're kind of getting to the point, if you're if you're not collect, if you haven't issued debt, you don't have any debt to collect TIF on. Um, so we definitely want to get that 1.7 in there, and then any other projects. Um, together. Um, as a rule of thumb, when you receive money um, to pay for urban renewal projects, those projects will need to be completed in three years. Um, when you do a financing, it makes sense to you know, put, put the projects that you're moving forward with um, together into one financing, you know, into one financing to have some of that, that cost efficiency um, associated. Heidi? Yes. I have another note from way back when that says the Highway 105 fund had 1.3 million. 1.3. Yeah, yep, but yet the Highway 105 project was 3.7. Some of it came out of secondary roads. Oh, well. that's what it was. Two million out of TIF, and there was a half million out of secondary roads we took. Yeah, so that Highway 105 fund is 1.3. Perfect. In my records. But Jackie will know for sure. That's right. <clears throat> I know that, uh, you know, with the board looking at making decisions with the budget this year and knowing that there's some new TIF value coming on in that, in that, third, in that third wind farm, um, you know, a question was asked is um, if, we, if we release some of that, of that TIF, um, TIF value back, um, you know, what would be, you know, what would be the impact um, to the general fund and for, you know, every hundred thousand that you request, if you reduce a hundred thousand of revenue, you can get an additional 17,500 to your general, um, your general basic fund. Um, so if there's, if there's some targets that you're looking at to, um, help supplement, you know, help supplement and move some of that back, um, per hundred thousand that you put back, um, you could help fund your general fund too. Um, and, you know, would work closely with Jackie on, you know, making sure, you know, however the board decides that they want to proceed, um, with, you know, those, that new TIF value coming in, um, could release some of that to help some of, some of your general fund, um, constraints that you currently have. Yeah. And, you know, and I think it makes sense to take a look at that new wind farm, 
when it comes to that, um, as it won't impact and make the, the ebbs and flows or the waves that come with, um, re you know, releasing TIF value and putting it back on as you have projects um, occurring. <clears throat> I guess the takeaway that I, I'd like to give the board today is that you have um, currently have 40, 46 million in TIF available from the wind farms um, to do the projects that you'd like to do. Um, I believe that you're starting some of that process with the urban renewal amendments. The next step would be is, um, you know, what priorities does the board have um, to get started and, and to get started on the for future projects and putting a plan together um, so that you're uh, collecting the, the amount of TIF that you want for debt and able to do all the projects and then also pay them off appropriately. So that 46 million you're talking about, Heidi, that's available through what year? It's currently 46, available. Yeah. So the 46 million is available through, if you, look at that, if you look at that sheet, it's available through, it's through 2044. 2044. What you'll see though, is that because you have those two, or your two wind farms that are currently existing, the bulk of that revenue is through 2032. Okay, yep, 20, 25 million. Yeah. yeah, that 25 million that you have, the bulk of that revenue is, you know, is now. So really, you know, when it comes to TIF revenues, um, you know, the, the ability to, to do projects now and get them paid off fairly quickly is, is not, is now versus down the road. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. And so this 46 million you're projecting, is that including the new wind farm that's to the Northeast there? Is that yes. Correct? Okay. Thank you. That includes the 76 towers. Yep. That okay. has the estimate with the, um, the, va the, Total value per turbine is two million eight hundred forty-nine thousand. Okay, I see that now. Okay. Okay. So Heidi, way off on the right, we have one point nine million in. TIF funds available at the present time that we haven't spent? Yes, so you've collected, and that is just, that is just wind TIF um, amounts. Now, I may need to make an adjustment for, you know, what you did for the 105 fund um, to replenish, replenish that, but that is what you have paid um, what you've collected in TIF with wind farm revenues minus all of the general yeah. obligation bonds. Um, <clears throat> but it's, it's, um, it's projected that, you know, you have collected, you've collected 100% of the TIF revenues up to this date, um, which would allow you to pay off the remaining bonds early um, to fill in uh, new debt. Um, well, we could use that money and put it back in the Highway 105 fund too, couldn't we? Um, as long as, so in order to use the TIF funds, you have to go into a debt. So you'd have to make an internal loan. Um, so you, you'd have to do an internal loan in order to shift those dollars back into um, Um, and so if, you know, you just have to have a fund that um, could make an internal loan of um, $1.3 million. Um, so that's where you kind of run into some of the um, constraints 
with an internal loan um, of sizable amounts. But you know, we could come, we could try to come up with a solution to make an internal loan just to make that um, 1.3 back. So we just have to look at if general fund, secondary road funds together could make that loan. Um, you know, I, from what we've talked to Heidi, uh, give you an idea on some of those projects and um, we're spelling them out in our urban renewal plan. We just don't know when and what's going to go first, when it's going to take place. Um, so as long as we have that spelled out in that urban renewal plan, we are okay then if we would decide to move forward. Is that correct? Yes. Um, so if you if you're making that urban renewal plan amendment, um, as long as you have all the projects that are, I'll call in the wish lists of the board. Um, you know, not necessarily projects. Uh, you could put projects in the plan that maybe you don't move forward with. But if those projects are in the plan, then you've taken that first step in order to take that uh, financing, whether it's an internal loan or um, a short-term note or a full bond market deal. Um, yeah, the first step is to getting those in that urban renewal plan in order to capture these dollars. <clears throat> well, like always, Heidi, it's as clear as mud. <laughs> well, I'll, what I'll tell you is that you have quite the revenues in order to do things. Um, just finding the prior, finding the priorities, and taking the steps forward, which the board is doing uh, right now with um, with the plan amendment. Um, you're taking the right steps forward. We'll keep um, we'll keep charging forward. Is there anything? Is there any particular um, scenarios or anything that the board is would like to see um, from Northland at this point to help make things a little clearer for you? Uh, I mean, we would just have to decide, I guess, what amount of debt we want to to incur. And then you would be up to you, I guess, to find out if our uh, TIF income will satisfy that amount uh, to be able to pay the loan back. Like I said, the next seven years or whatever, it looks like we could borrow and pay back fairly quick. Uh -huh. um, I'm looking at that right. So next seven, eight years look really, really good. Yes, they absolutely do. Um, just a quick update on rates. Um, you know, we're seeing interest rates are increasing um, short term and long term rates. Um, you know, if you're looking at doing a 20 year bond, you're probably looking at just shy of 3% um, all in cost. Um, and, you know, a 10 years probably, you know, with short end rates have come up significantly. If you're reading things, you'll see that the, um, you're seeing that some of the curve is being inverted. That means that short-term rates are coming up uh, much faster than long-term rates. Um, so you're probably going to see it, you know, a 10 year probably, um, you know, it over probably about a two to two and a quarter percent, um, which still historically very, very low rates. Um, um, but just wanted to give you that update there. Um, the Fed is expected to have increases um, to the federal funds rate um, at their next meeting, and they continue to talk that way. So um, we are seeing that rates are increasing. And at this point, the future sh uh, is showing that rates will increase, but we really don't know what tomorrow will uh, bring. Okay. And Heidi, yep. normally you don't recommend um, borrowing the whole amount, correct? 
isn't it usually like 75% or something to be safe? So looking at that TIF available, that 46 million, um, you know, in order to have a cushion, um, probably looking at doing about, you know, 75% is a good number, Jackie, um, to, um, in order to have a cushion to make sure that you're making those, um, they have a, uh, you have a cushion in order um, to make sure that you can make your payments. Um, <clears throat> you know, I know that we saw some TIF legislation come out um, early in the session that's kind of, uh, for now, has died off. Um, but, you know, there are, there's, these are projections in TIF revenues. Um, there is always the chance that the legislator could come in and make, um, make decisions that uh, impact, impact the county, so. The turbine companies make changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's not just our projects, it's our roads and they seem to really eat up a lot of money. When you spend 3.7, what was it? Seven or nine miles? Those prices are coming up um, substantially. <laughs> Um, if you look at, you know, things that were done <clears throat> five, 10 years ago, um, it's just about half of what she could do today. So it's just, um, the, the inflation is real. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, do. I don't. Okay. Enos. Nope. If I got any more questions, I'll call you direct. I've got my number. Um, I'll give it to you real quick. What? Give me your number my, real quick. My, my cell phone is area code 515-822-1485. Thank you. Okay. This will have to leave this up for future discussion. Yeah. Yep. Sounds good. Yep. We gotta get more of our figures on what we're gonna what do. the ready fuels is, that loan could be and the other stuff. And how long it's gonna take to pay it off for them yep. to pay it off so that we know we're out of because we need to leave that much there until they make the payment each year, then it can revolve back in. Something like right. that. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's really not readily available at that time. Yeah. Every right. time they make a payment, it can roll back in and then we can stick it in urban renewal and use it for something. But it, we basically got to lay it out, leave it out there. Yes. The, right? You know, 23, 23. That, that would make, yes, in order to, to make sure you're covered. Um, you have, have to leave that out there. Has any of the discussions of what that payback term would be? Um, There's been discussion, but nothing's set yet. So we'll work, we'll work on that and see if we can get that figured out. So, um, you know, and looking at your dollars in order to, you know, in order to, to take advantage of some of those things, you know, some of the other projects you want to do and get done. Um, I guess the longer the term you'd have the ability to pay it back um, would make would make sense. Um, so you just would have a you know a lower a lower impact up front in order to make payments on other on other projects. Um, you know, and whether that those terms look different for the county um, than you know what they are currently set up at. Um, I'm not sure how that's how that's going, but um, you know, other you know, otherwise, if you have too high of a payment, you're going to limit yourself during these next ten years, and then and then your TIF value is gone because you won't be able to collect on that TIF unless you actually have debt for it. Because you'll have the ob obligation possibility, but there won't be. But won't be an actual obligation. Yep. It won't be. All, we have to. Have a, it's got to be in the pipeline to 
we're committed, but we're not borrowing. Yeah. We hope. Collect for the TIO. Which, when it comes to roads and bridges, it isn't hard to get stuff in the pipeline. No. And the, and the price. Mm -hmm. That one I seen. Rich gave us a deal last week on bridges for five million over a period of time. Or more. Yep. Or more. And that's the that was just a short term. Okay. Well, I'm good for now, I guess, Heidi. So. Okay. Thank you, Heidi. Hey, you bet. Hey, thanks so much. Yep. You're Thank you. Thank you, Heidi. Yep. All right. So, if there's nothing else, I guess, to come before the board. We'll take a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Oh, how about next week? Mm. I think. Well, stuff coming up. Stuff coming up. Do you have anything else that's not on there? I'll have to make a special one for WHW. Yep. Is there anything else that needs to be added? <coughs> not that I can think of right now. Well, is that Outlook 365 still on for April 14th, Joe? Oh. It is, Enos, yes. We'll have two meetings that day. I think one is at uh, 10. And one's at 2. Correct, sir. And that'll be more of a demo and then question and answer and then the, and then the sheriff beating them up repeatedly. All righty. You, did you make a motion? Yes, I did. So I'll, second. I'll, second the, I'll second the motion to adjourn. <laughs> all right. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Both things. Jim. Motion carries. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate Smart. it. Smart. Yeah. Smart. Have fun. All right. See you guys later. All right.